Hey guys, that Mike here back here for another video. Guys, I'm gonna be dark at all heck right now. Like you I'm too bright, I meant to say, so you won't be able to see my face that well. Sorry about that. But guys, I'm gonna be doing a sniping video today, and pretty much what we're gonna be doing is using Mutt Head. As you can see in the right hand corner of your screen, you will see Mutt Head, and that's what we're gonna be using for this sniping video. So kind of an interesting one, kind of a different type of one. Um, again, we're going to be doing sniping, but we're also going to be trying to look up on my head to see if, you know, if these prices or what the cards go for. So we should be able to efficiently do this. I don't know how efficiently we're going to be able to do this, but, you know, hey, we're going to try it out, see how it works. Maybe this is new sniping filters, you know, sniping method, right hand corner of your screen or right hand corner you do see uh the you know the whole entire my head website so let's see how this works all right i'm gonna go to um let's see 90 to 94 actually 1994 yeah and we're gonna go by letters let's go by a okay let's do a and what we're looking for the 59th minute. So we're going to sort it by a program, right? So let's go to um, flashbacks. Okay, so we got 58 minutes. That's, eh, let's see, 115. And the beautiful thing about this is I can easily just go through, I'll go to my mutt head and check him out. So we have Lovinchery. Okay, let's see how much Lovinchery is going for. He's going for about 118 and actually, let me show you. So he's going for about 118,000 coins. So I know, okay, that's not a snipe. Let's go on to the next guy. And I don't know how efficient this is going to be, especially because the fact that, you know, it's like, um, we're doing, like, I'm doing this. It, it's weird, guys. I'm watching what you guys are watching in order to uh, use my Xbox controller. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. All right, let's go to award winners. I don't think we have any award winners. Um, How much is that levy going for? Let's see how much the levy going for. All right, um, he's going for about 39K, so that's all right. But how much is that web? I think I can get more from that web. Now the big thing about it is this is how much his average price is. If we actually go into Mutthead and we go to his pricing right here, we can see how much he's been selling for. And if we look at this, he's been selling for about 45, 52, 53. So that's about what he's actually going to go for. So I'm not going to make any coin profit. But like if we go back to that levy, let's see what he's actually selling for. And of course, as you go through the market, you start learning more and more about these cards. But because I don't know that much about these cards, I'm going to start to try to learn with you guys and kind of do like a noob way of learning so you, we all can learn together. Because obviously, you guys might not know about these cards, like the prices of them. And I, obviously, I don't either. So let's go down to the playoffs. I mean, I know prices of some of the cards, how much they go for, but not how much they're actually selling for. And that's one, that's a big difference. So Beasley. Let's see how much Beasles is selling for. Let's go back a couple. Okay, here we go. Vic Beasley. We'll call it Cole Beasley, not Vic. Um, if we go to his pricing, we can see he's selling for about 30, 34, 39. Okay, so we could might be able to get 38 out of him. Um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to get 38 out of him. Actually, you know what? Check. I probably should check if this is the lowest one. Let's see. And the beautiful thing about my head is you can actually update. So I, I, oh, I did miss that crap. But as you can see, I can actually update, and that was not the lowest one. So I could have gotten, you know, 38, 39 out of them. So that was a missed snipe right there. But that's the beautiful thing about my head is you can actually update it as you go. So, you know, you can actually see how much cards you're going for. Also, Mutthead does have an app that you can get on an iPhone or Android called Mutthead, and you can actually just see live prices from the application. So it's pretty cool. Now let's see how much this Morgan Burnett is going for. So if I update right now, I can see that the cheapest one up is 25k other than this one. He's selling for about 25k, so I'm not going to go for it because it's not really that much of a snipe. So let's go on to the next one. We're going to go to Legends, actually. So let's go to Legends. And we have Lawyer Malloy. So let's see Lawyer Malloy. Now he's been up for 12 minutes. So most likely that's a bad sign. 
But that just means someone could have missed him and not focused on this. So let's see. Loyal Malloy, 20K. About 25K is what he looks like he's selling for. So, and it looks like this is not the cheapest one up though. You know, we see a set, uh, 20K one. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to go to the Patriots and we're going to buy his 20K one and put it up for about 24K for an hour and that should sell. So let's go to Newitz. And we're going to buy the Loyal Malloy one and we're going to put him up for about, I would say eight hours. He should sell within an hour, but just to be uh, careful, I'm going to put him up for eight hours. And as you see in the right hand corner of your screen, he's um, actually, let me zoom in. I don't know how well you guys can see this. All right, so his pricing for selling, we just bought, or someone just bought him for us, but 25K, 25K, 21K, 22K. So I think we can get about 25K out of him. And because we bought him for less coins, we can easily make a profit there. So, again, I'm doing this like, so this is a, there's a delay between my recording, uh, what you're seeing, and actually what I'm doing. So I'm trying to use a recording to actually um, put this card up on the auction block. So let's go back a little bit, go back to like about 25K, and he should sell about that in an hour. So we should make a little bit of good profit there. All right, we're actually going to put him up for eight hours. Let's do that. Okay. So, there's our first technical snipe of the day. Obviously, that's only like a 2K snipe, but the fact that we can get that much out of him should be uh, working plenty well for us. So, let's change it to newest again. And let's go back to, um, let's go actually back to our settings. So, let's go to newest, let's go back to all. And as you see, someone just bought it for 21K. Um, okay, so he's going for about 17K, it looks like. Um, I think we could get more out of him. But I'm going to definitely check to see how much he's actually selling for. So, Larry Wilson. Let's see how much he's actually selling for. I know probably you could get 25K, I feel like, out of him. Why is he not up here? Oh, here he is, Larry Wilson. All right, so it says my head has him going for 16K on average. But what we can see is how much he's actually selling for. And it looks like he's selling for at least today. What I do is I go by today because obviously today is the, you know, what what's really important. And as you look at today, he is not selling for more than 18K. So 17K, I mean, there is someone up for 15K, but I just don't feel like 15K is going to be worth it in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the letter. We're going to change the letter to... Let's go H. Okay, so now we have Chad Johnson. Oh, oh, how much does this guy go for? I feel like that mod green. Now he's not the limited edition one, but oh crap! I think yeah, I think he goes for a lot more than that. I think we just missed a snipe there, guys. All right, that's the issue with this method. You gotta be very quick. Actually, uh, one twenty. Yeah, actually, that wouldn't... I don't know. If, if you look at the prices, what he's selling for today... And again, this changes every day, guys. Today is Friday, so, you know, Monday or Tuesday, this will be different. But as you see, the prices he's selling for, he's selling for about, like, 120 121 So, actually, this card right here is... Eh, it's actually a lot... It's more than what he's normally selling for, so... That actually wouldn't have been too too good of a snipe because of the fact that we could we most likely would have lost coins, especially for the fact that um he's not selling for that today. So that's the thing. Some people you know they'll put a lot of cards up on the auction block, and that's why you'll see like you know he's up like there's like ten up for like ten k, but they might be selling for a lot more than that. So that's what I'm trying to do in this video now. Paul Krause, yo he he sells way more than that. He sells for way more than that. I know he sells for way more than that. There's no way in heck 93k is what is what he sells for. That is the cheapest one up. Well, that's the second cheapest one up. The cheapest one up just sold six minutes ago. Wow, he's actually selling for that much. Wow, his price has come down. You guys see this? Let me show you guys in uh, full screen. 
and this is full screen what I'm looking at. So his price has really come down. Look at this. So about what is that? The uh, about seven a week ago, he was going for 148k. He has dropped all the way down now to 88k. So that's actually what he's actually yeah. Wow, he's actually selling for that too. If we go to view broke breakdown, we can actually get a better view of all the sells. So as you can see, um, we could probably sell him for 96k. But the best price, if you see 103, 111, actually, we could probably snipe this. To be honest, 111. Hmm. I don't know. This it's too, it's still around like all over the place. I feel like to get a good snipe on it. Let's make this smaller again. Okay, young blood. 30k. I know I could probably get 34 out of him. But some of these players I don't know if they're going to be worth it to snipe because of the fact that 34k is that really going to be worth it? I mean it's a 1k, you know, snipe, but I feel like it's better to do that silver method. Now, this is also why, guys, I said the silver method is better. But if we look at how much we can get out of him, uh, 37K, 36K, 35K, we could probably get about 37K out of him. So I'm going to snipe him. I'm going to go and pull the trigger on this one. And I'm going to sell him for about 37K. Because I think that's what I can probably get out of him. Um, we could view actually break down and see how much we could actually, let's see, 37. And again, I'll show you guys full screen. There we go. Uh, we got 39K, 38. Okay. It looks like 37 is going to be the magic number. Because as you can see, 37, we can we could probably get 37 out of him. So we're going to go for 37 out of uh, him today. So if you hear the birds in the background, that's just uh, the seagulls. Oh, crap. My bad. We go. Let's make this smaller. All right, so we're gonna go with 37k out of this young blood. I actually do have young blood too, but we're gonna go with 37k. Do this, and this is a way to snipe. This is you know kind of just overpricing your cards. So pretty much what you're doing is you're uh, buying cards, you're looking at my head, and you're overpricing them with that method in mind. So this is a way to snipe cards. This is also a way you know. It's very risky because you could, as you can see, someone just, oh, it's too late. No, that's hands guy. Um, but yeah, you could lose a lot of coins doing this method. You could gain a lot of coins doing this method. So it's kind of like, you know, a mixture of two. It could be great, but it also could be bad because what you're doing is overpricing cards and hoping they sell for a higher price. So Robert Quinn, um, what I might do, just do is this. Oh my bad. All right, so I can just easily type this in. Yeah, this is probably a better idea to do it this way. Uh, so if I type in Robert Quinn, and we see he's going for about 134k, which is actually very, very relieving, because that means that this could be a good snipe. 105. Let's see how much he's actually selling for. Oh, yeah, we're definitely... Oh, yes, we are definitely going for this one. This one is a great one, guys. So, let's review the breakdown. So, he's selling for about 123 k but I think we can get a little bit more out of him than that. So, if we're looking down at 130 130 134 we could easily probably get 132 out of this card. So, we're going to go with 132 Easily probably get 132 out of it. Um, I could probably go for more than that, but just to be safe, I'm gonna go with 132 here. All right, let's go to all players again, and let's go to actually, yeah, newest, and let's go to newest. Here we go. All right, so what call we have here? Oh, Jarrell Casey. Okay, how about Casey? Is Casey something special here? Um, so that just goes for about 60k. Let's see how much we can actually get out of him. We could get 49k out of him. Oh, sorry, not 49k. We can get, yeah, we probably could only get 65. 
but then that would not cover the tax. 70, um, 74, 72. I don't know. I, I don't I don't want to go for that one. That's not, in my opinion, it's not going to be it. Wait, what's sold? Oh, way uniforms. Okay. Nothing special. All right. Um, let's go back. And let's see. All right. So let's go to another program. Let's go to Team of the Week. Okay, let me go to newest. I oh, I think I can get seventy out of this card. I might be able to get a lot of coins off that card. Let's see. How much can I get out of him? I know I sold him for seventy k recently, and oh crap, someone just bought that. <laughs> that's the only issue with waiting. Sometimes you lose a snipe, and that's that's a good card right there. Fifty three k. I I take that any day. I could easily make coins off that one. All right, we don't got any ultimate freeze. Let's go through and go to Ghost um, Campus Heroes. Let's see. All right, 227. The issue with bigger snipes is it's a lot more difficult, and I try to stay away, and I recommend staying away from bigger snipes. So we go back to Legends and see what we got. We got Youngblood. We got... Is that all card? No, it's not. Someone put it up lower than us. Uh, we got Munez. Gotcha. All right, let's see. Let's go with A I O U. I'm doing the vowels, by the way. A I O U. A I O U. Um. Okay, he's 86k. That's how much he goes for. Uh, some of these players I know how much he go for, and some of these players I don't. So I think this green, I could probably get more money out of him. I could probably sell him for a lot more. And the best thing about this, guys, is even if they don't sell, I can just wait till next week when, you know, the prices are, like, you know, it's, like, during the week. And these prices will shoot up so quickly. So, it looks like he's selling for about 14, 15K. And if we look at the uh, breakdown, we could probably get about 19, 20. Yeah, we could probably easily get about 20K off of him. Uh, we're going to buy him then. We could probably easily get 20k off this card. Okay. Also, guys, remember I am doing Aaron Rodgers and Javion Clowney card review coming soon. So definitely, if you're excited about that, hit that like button. It will probably be out sometime later today. So if you guys are excited about that, make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. Alright, um, let's go to newest. Ooh, nah. Not going to be worth it. All right. So let's go to flashback tier with the eye. All right. We got 365K. Dang. But 78K. Um, Is there any profit to be made on this card? Let's see. Mitchell Swartz. That Colin Kaepernick just sold. Wait, how did I spell his name wrong? Let's do M-I. All right. And do, 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 do. he is a Cleveland Brown. Here he is. Okay. So 93K is what, or 83K is what my head has him going for. Okay, I'll make this bigger for you guys so you guys can see. All right. So my head has him going for 83K. And it looks like he's selling for about that much. Um, hmm, 90k, 89, 105, 105. A lot of auctions completed with a lot more than 78k. So, I'm I'm actually probably gonna go for him, guys, and I'll put him up for about 90 some k. So let's see, how much should I put him up for? We got 90k here. We got an auction 106. We got an auction with 90k. Um. 99k, 113, 9. You know, I might just do 98k. No, 96k. How much would that be? So we bought him for 78k, right? How much did we buy him for? Let's see. 78k is how much we bought him for. So if we put him up, we most likely could sell him for about 96k. 
because and that would be that would cover tax and everything so that's good all right again though guys I do recommend the silver method is the best method but this is not a bad method um I'm not gonna go for that card but I feel like in my hearts of hearts that that 22k is a great price for this card I'm probably gonna miss it because I'm trying to look him up and see how much he's actually going for. That is the issue. But as you go through these cards, you will start to actually learn the prices of these cards. And that's when you're going to be able to get these snipes a lot easier. It's once you know the prices and how much you can actually sell them for, you really much, very much are able to get um, these snipes a lot easier. So, um, let's see. 27. Mm, I don't. I don't think it's going to be worth it. It's going to be a 2k snipe. And if I, you know, the problem with these, this sniping method is it's very risky. You could lose a lot of coins. So that's also another reason why it's, this one is a lot more difficult than other sniping methods. Like the silvers, the most you'll lose is 500 coins. This one, you could lose 20, 30 K. It's very dangerous. It's a lot more dangerous than other sniping methods. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. About my head is you can actually update. So I, I, oh, I did miss that crap. But as you can see, I can actually update, and that was not the lowest one. So I could have gotten, you know, 38, 39 out of them. So that was a missed snipe right there. But that's the beautiful thing about my head is you can actually update it as you go. So, you know, you can actually see how much cards you're going for. Also, Mutthead does have an app that you can get on an iPhone or Android called Mutthead, and you can actually just see live prices from the application. So it's pretty cool. Now let's see how much this Morgan Burnett is going for. So if I update right now, I can see that the cheapest one up is 25k other than this one. He's selling for about 25k, so I'm not going to go for it because it's not really that much of a snipe. So let's go on to the next one. We're going to go to Legends, actually. So let's go to Legends. And we have Lawyer Malloy. So let's see Lawyer Malloy. Now he's been up for 12 minutes. So most likely that's a bad sign. But that just means someone could have missed him and not focused on this. So let's see Lawyer Malloy. 20k. About 25k is what he looks like he's selling for. So and it looks like this is not the cheapest one up though. You know we see a set, uh, 20k one. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to go to the Patriots and we're going to buy his 20k one and put it up for about 24k for an hour and that should sell. So let's go to Newitz and we're going to buy the Lawyer Malloy one and we're going to put him up for about, I would say eight hours. He should sell within an hour, but just to be uh, careful, I'm going to put him up for eight hours. And as you see in the right hand corner of your screen, he's um, actually, let me zoom in. I don't know how well you guys can see this. All right. So his pricing for selling, we just bought, or someone just bought him for us, but 25k 25k 21k 22k so i think we can get about 25k out of him and because we bought him for less coins we can easily make a profit there so again i'm doing this like so this is a, there's a delay between my recording uh what you're seeing and actually what i'm doing so i'm trying to use a recording to actually um put this card up on the auction block so let's go back a little bit Go back to like about 25k and he should sell about that in an hour so we should make a little bit of good profit there all right we're actually going to put him up for eight hours let's do that okay four and if we look at this he's been selling for about 45 52 53 so that's about what he's actually going to go for so i'm not going to make any coin profit but like if we go back to that levy let's see what he's actually selling for and of course, as you go through the market, you start learning more and more about these cards. But because I don't know that much about these cards, I'm going to start to try to learn with you guys and kind of do like a noob way of learning so you, we all can learn together. Because obviously, you guys might not know about these cards, like the prices of them, and I, obviously I don't either. So let's go down to the playoffs. I mean, I know prices of some of the cards, how much they go for, but not how much they're actually selling for. And that's one, that's a big difference. So Beasley... Let's see how much Beasles is selling for. Let's go back a couple. Okay, here we go. Vic Beasley. Okay, Cole Beasley, not Vic. 
Um, if we go to his pricing, we can see he's selling for about 30, 34, 39. Okay, so we could might be able to get 38 out of him. Um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to get 38 out of him. Actually, you know what? Should I, I probably should check if this is the lowest one. Let's see. And the beautiful thing, guys, that Mike Aaron back here from that video, guys. I'm going to be dark at all heck right now. Like, you, I'm too bright, I meant to say. So, you won't be able to see my face that well. Sorry about that. But, guys, I'm going to be doing a sniping video today. And pretty much what we're going to be doing is using Mutt Head. As you can see in the right-hand corner of your screen, you will see Mutt Head. And that's what we're going to be using for this sniping video. So, kind of an interesting one. Kind of a different type of one. Um, again, we're going to be doing sniping, but we're also going to be trying to look up on my head to see if, you know, if these prices or what the cards go for. So we should be able to efficiently do this. I don't know how efficiently we're going to be able to do this, but, you know, hey, we're going to try it out, see how it works. Maybe this is new sniping filters, you know, sniping method, right hand corner of your screen or right hand corner you do see uh the you know the whole entire my head website so let's see how this works all right i'm gonna go to um let's see 90 to 94 actually 1994 yeah and we're gonna go by letters let's go by a okay let's do a and what we're looking for, the 59th minute. So we're going to sort it by a program, right? So let's go to um, flashbacks. Okay, so we got 58 minutes. That's, eh, let's see, 115. And the beautiful thing about this is I can easily just go through, I'll go to my mutt head and check him out. So we have Leventry. Okay, let's see how much Leventry is going for. He's going for about 118 and actually, let me show you. So he's going for about 118,000 coins. So I know, okay, that's not a snipe. Let's go on to the next guy. And I don't know how efficient this is going to be, especially because the fact that, you know, it's like, um, we're doing, like, I'm doing this. It, it's weird, guys. I'm watching what you guys are watching in order to uh, use my Xbox controller. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. All right, let's go to award winners. I don't think we have any award winners. Um, How much is that levy going for? Let's see how much the levy going for. All right, um, he's going for about 39K, so that's all right. But how much is that web? I think I can get more from that web. Now, the big thing about it is this is how much his average price is. If we actually go into Mutthead and we go to his pricing right here, we can see how much he's been selling 